Hello, this is Pam from Down Under Recumbent Trike Ventures. Today we are going to ride from Scarborough Harbour to Deception Bay. We have our trusty crew here today. We've got Rick on his performer trike and with his coffee and James. We're going to do a loop of the harbour first, which should be very nice. It's a beautiful day. Miss Molly's happy. What a beautiful day. Doesn't get much better than this. In the distance you can see the Glasshouse Mountains and I will zoom in on that very shortly. The water looks so beautiful. There's the Glasshouse Mountains. James was lucky enough to see some dolphins. The water looks so clear. And here's another beautiful view. Seems to take all your dramas away. It does, yeah. I love riding around this harbour. The wind's a bit cool. Yeah, I'm glad I got my jacket done up now. And we've got the beautiful Scarborough Harbour on the right. Beautiful. Big dredge in the middle there. I assume that's what it is, is the white platform of some description. Nice big boats. Yeah, there's some beauties in there today. We're about to head back out onto the road for a little short section till we get back in onto the beach front at Scarborough. So I won't record that bit, but now we're picking it back up again onto the foreshore of Scarborough. Big tree here. Pleasing that they didn't cut them down. Beautiful big trees. They built the pathway around the trees instead of chopping them down, which is nice. And the parrots are in the trees. Nice red seat, isn't it? Yeah. Something about this tree I like. Molly was excited about coming this morning. Hello Molly, beautiful out there now isn't it? We're about to cross the road to go into Newport Drive. We elected not to use the brakes in the traffic island because there wasn't much room in the middle and I didn't want my trailer to stick out in the middle of the road. So we just did a U-turn around the island and now headed back up the road in the bicycle lane. Now turning into Griffith Road, look at that tail wagging in the back of the wagon. We're heading up towards Newport Waters. We could have stayed on the road but we elected to get onto this side so we'd be closer to the views of the canals. Coming up on our right is Petrel Canal. These canals are named after birds. Next up 
on the list is Comorant Canal. We are now approaching the Kay Cotty Bridge, named after this first woman to circumnavigate the world solo, unassisted, in 1988. In my next life I'm going to be a sailor, I'm going to have a sailboat, I'm going to sail the oceans. Port Canal. Now we are riding past Kite Canal. has been so excited today. We are now in Jabiru Canal, Newport. Here we were trying to find our way to Spinnaker Boulevard and we were quite excited when we found it. Spinnaker and Boulevard, we're on the right one. Take your red fruit, you could lead me anywhere today. And I would just follow Comanche Street. Wow. And Comanche Indians. Back don't, to John Wayne days. When you don't know where you're going, it seems like longer. Yeah, that's right. Spinnaker Boulevard is quite a long street and it runs parallel with Anzac Avenue and comes out near the Tigers AFL football ground. Path is very good. This is the AFL football field on the right. And as I was ahead of Rick and James, I spotted this little bridge and decided to have a look and saw some beautiful um, water lilies. wrong turn and we ended up in the um, entry to the car park. Never mind, we got there in the end and we headed out to the road which ended up being Nathan Road and the path on the left just disappeared. We had to ride out on the road here for a bit but it was only a short distance until we rejoined the bikeway on the right. We are entering Morris Park. We stopped here to change the batteries on the camera and when I changed the battery on mine I must have pressed something because all the footage ended up playing back at super fast speed and I didn't know how to fix it so a lot of this footage is just taken from the camera that was on the boom of James's trike. However I was still able to get a lot of stills from the camera that was on that I was holding so that worked out okay. This is now Morris Road that we're on and we followed this up around until we came to the painted reservoir where we turned right and then connected back up with the bikeway again.
would actually missed a little turn off to reconnect with the bikeway and spoke with the locals and they said if we followed this little track here we would be on the bikeway again which we were it was a little bit bumpy but the bikeway is right ahead and it's nice and smooth beautiful big trees I think that was one of my favourite parts of the ride, riding through all those beautiful trees. We're just about to come to another spot where it overlooks another beautiful park below. spotted another little platform on the right so I stopped to have a look to see what was there and there were some beautiful water lilies. It's always nice to stop and see some of these things that are just out of the way. And then a couple of glass took off in front of me so that was really nice too. There's a sign coming up shortly reflecting the Aboriginal heritage with regards to their practice of making middens which they discarded their oyster shells and pippi shells in piles and that's how the archaeologists knew that the Aboriginals had visited the area. As we came around the corner we saw this beautiful wetland. Didn't even know that this was here. There's so much you can see when you get out there and discover your local suburbs. lady put her hand up and said hello I'm James Ditton's wife we hadn't met before but I did remember James's cutie little dog James you've been holding out on these beautiful bikeways Right, there was a sign which said fairy way and someone's gone to a bit of trouble to add some toys to make it like a little magical experience for the children visiting we're coming in for deception bay now there's some beautiful leopard trees on the left and very shortly we'll be able to see the water like it's low tide but it's still very pretty
Look, it seems like we've come a long way. How far did it say on your thing? I forgot to set it. I think we've only come about 14 kilometres, eh? Yeah, we'll set about 13. Yeah, well, that's about right. Where's this coffee shop? Shouldn't be too far. I'm ready for my morning tea. Beautiful day, but it's still quite windy and cool. I think you might have to get out on the radio thing. Yeah, no, the bus still goes. It goes around this tree. Oh, yeah, I'll see. Hey, mate, this shop's up the top. Okay. We were looking for the exit to go to the one of the cafes, and as Rick knows the area better, he went ahead, and he went up the bridge, and then James decided to go up the bridge, and it's like a zigzag formation, and he thought it would be too hard for me to negotiate the trailer around the zigzag so he came back down and then we went back out along the road. Along the way we came across this car park right across the exit which was very inconvenient and annoying. But never the mind, we got back onto the road and came back around the corner and found the Zesty Lemon Cafe where we had morning tea this video and if you've enjoyed watching this video you might like to give us a thumbs up and if you would like to continue watching our videos you might like to hit the subscribe button thank you for watching